entertainer and champion in the World Wrestling Federation, Ken Shamrock exudes danger. Nice. On a Bonita baseball field, Sean's ball. Ken Shamrock Sean's exudes ball. daddy. Atta boy. He can live in this world yeah. because of this one. After mastering several martial arts in Japan in 1993, he entered the controversial UFC, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, where it's a test of wills in the octagon. And he became a perennial champion as the master of submissions. In essence, the other guy cries uncle. If it wasn't for what I'm doing now, I wouldn't be here. I would be in a cage fence, but it wouldn't be in an octagon. It would be in prison. His life now, husband to Tina for 11 years, father of their three boys and a girl, owner of a training academy in Chula Vista. All this is a long way from his broken-hearted childhood. Uh, every kid that goes through uh, what I went through, and there's a lot of them out there, uh, they feel like nothing. Born Ken Nance on Valentine's Day 1965, he and his siblings bounced around the state foster care system. I got in some trouble while I was uh, living out of a car on my own. I stole to eat. I went through juvenile hall. When I was 10, I was in lockdown. Um, I learned how to survive uh, with the older boys. Um, I had to fight quite a bit. At 14, Bob Shamrock, who would later adopt him, urged Ken to vent his anger through athletics. And one big tackle at a Lassen High School football game... I mean, I just drilled him. Bang! ...was a turning point. Because I remember hearing my name on loudspeaker, Kenny Nance on the tackle. I became important in life uh, through sports. Too small for pro football, he found his niche in pro fighting. As for parenthood, Tina had good role models, but he refused to let his miserable cycle repeat itself. There was no support. There was no love. It was my son's second birthday, and, uh, you know, the whole family's there. I think it was kind of like one of the first birthdays that he's ever been. He, he never really had birthday parties. <laughs> yeah. He was the only one at the end of the day left for nuts. He would point it out. <laughs> When you see your dad when he comes home from a trip, what do you do? Jump up and down like crazy. The cycle seems to be broken. I don't have that anger that I lived through anymore. Um, a lot of ways that hurts me, too, because when I had the anger, nobody could touch me. Now do I have a weakness. I don't mind it. <laughs> Jane Mitchell. Channel 4, San Diego. Ken Shamrock's Lion's Den Submission Academy in Chula Vista trains people who want to fight professionally. He's already trained five people who've won titles. And that'll do it for this edition of San Diego Insider Magazine.